Thank you, Prime Minister. Unfortunately, the translation service was not working, so I will be I will be re getting delivered a copy of your of your speech later. Um, thank you for welcoming us in Tripoli today. It is a pleasure to be here once again. We have been here in the last months as well, amongst our Libyan neighbours and friends, rather our brothers. Prime Minister, please allow us, Malta, to be the first European Union member state to invite you and your government of national unity to visit us. I look forward to welcoming you and hosting you in Malta soon. I also want to thank our Libyan brothers for your friendship and respect, not now, but over the past decades. Friendship that has led to fruitful cooperation in a number of areas, amongst which trade and economic cooperation, in the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic, in areas like healthcare, and in the fight against organized crime. And our relationship with Libya as a country is one we are proud to invest in, because we know that it can be mutually beneficial for our respective people. The substantial investments made by Libyans in Malta and by Maltese in Libya are ample proof of this. Because we consider and have always considered Libya and Libyans as our partners. That is why we are very pleased to have reopened our embassy here in Tripoli and our consulate, which should be up and running in the coming days. To serve as a bridge to improve our relations and to restart commercial relations between our respective countries. In this regard, Malta looks forward to resume direct flights to and from Libya as soon as the situation allows. Let's make this important milestone happen. We are also pleased to work with Prime Minister Beba and his Government of National Unity in their pursuit to ensure that Libya returns to normality as fast as possible. A strong Libya governed by Libyans for the Libyan people. Above all, a Libya which is healthy, prosperous and peaceful. A prosperous and peaceful Libya means that the Mediterranean and Europe can prosper. Looking ahead, I believe that we both agree that there, that there is a lot more that can be done between our two countries. We look forward to this and to strengthen further our collaboration and cooperation with Libya. Speaking of future cooperation, my government is a firm believer that the international community must help and not interfere with the processes to rebuild Libya. We must start by facilitating investment, by helping in the fight against the pandemic, and by assisting the government of national unity in its efforts to ensure safety and security in Libya. All solutions should be Libyan-owned. I have affirmed on several occasions that the European Union, of which Malta is a member state, and its governments have a crucial role in this process. My government will continue to voice this message on behalf of the Libyan people within the corridors of the European Union. We will also do our utmost from our limited resources to assist as necessary. An effort which, will be, which we shall be making is to try and help Libya with the procurement of COVID-19 vaccinations within the context of the constraints of supply prevailing today. Prime Minister Beba, once again, thank you for welcoming us in Libya. Allow me to congratulate you and your government's work and to wish you and the Libyan people the very best in your endeavors. As always, Malta and its people will be behind you, supportive 
of all your efforts. Congratulations. Thank you.